you're watching Post Life, and there are moments in a parent's life that you never, ever, ever want to have to face, and that is the loss of a child. And joining us on the couch today to share uh, <clears throat> a tragic story, but an important story uh, to share with the community is Laura Ashby. She is with us today. How are you? Good. Very good. Thanks for having me. Thank, Thank you for being you. here. Thank you so much for joining us. Now, tell us a little bit. Let's let's start with the good. Tell yes. us about your son. Who who was he? Dave, Dave was um, a great guy. He he was a lot of fun. He had a ton of friends. Life of the party. Um, born on Halloween. Loved to dress up like Will Ferrell. And <laughs> make everybody laugh. Um, he. Also had a very serious side though too that he was re very reflective about life and um, we could talk for hours about uh, his take on on life and work and girls and all that. Mm -hmm. So it, 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 he was uh, kind of a well well rounded person, I think. Mm -hmm. um, an artist, um, hard worker. He was a construction manager at a commercial construction company. Um, heart of gold would do anything for you and um, could really make you laugh. Yeah. Sounds like it. Yeah. You guys sound very close too, were you? Oh yes. Yeah. Uh, I got uh, lucky to be able to spend the last summer of his life. He rented his home and he, he lived with me uh, for the last summer. So uh, it was wonderful. Wow. Um, yes. Loved power mm -hmm. watching Netflix and, <laughs> and just uh, cooking for him and I had a great time with him. That's great. And now you, you have faced one of the worst moments mm -hmm. in anybody's life mm -hmm. and that is the loss of Dave. Mm -hmm. So tell us what happened and why are you sharing his story with the community? Well what happened was he came home from work on a Friday night and he uh, texted friends till midnight. He had to work the next day um, and he stayed in that night and he just um, eventually uh, crossed his legs and folded his arms and fell asleep. Uh, his brother, who was living with him, uh, was out of town and uh, returned on Sunday evening and found him. Mm -hmm. um, so he died of a sudden cardiac arrest. We were aware that he had a racing heart and a regular heartbeat, um, but I didn't have any clue that um, that made him at risk for sudden cardiac death. Mm -hmm. So even though he had been monitored as a child um, and throughout his life he would periodically be checked. Nothing was ever diagnosed mm -hmm. uh, and no risk was ever given to us. So the purpose of all of this is, is to let other families know that if you do have any kind of condition like your heart skips or an irregular heartbeat, racing heart, um, to have it checked out because there's a lot of uh, solutions and, and things that can be done to prevent sun, sudden cardiac yeah, so let's talk a little bit about the difference between sudden cardiac arrest and a heart attack because I think a lot of people believe them to be the same thing. Right. Well, the way it was explained to me is that one is an electrical issue and one is a plumbing issue. Okay. So the, the sudden cardiac arrest is an electrical issue with your, again, your heartbeat. And uh, it, whereas a heart attack would be um, blood flow, mm -hmm. clogs, things like that. So uh, those two get interchanged a lot. but. Uh, the risk for a uh, sudden cardiac arrest uh, applies to everyone really at any age. Um, so you could be three months old or 95 years wow. old and die of an SCA. Um, I, again, I'm, I'm learning all this and I, I didn't know any of that before so it's important to me to spread the word and also our goal is to raise money to purchase AED machines mm -hmm. so that we could place them throughout the beach community. So they're uh, automatic external defibrillators that shock your heart back into a normal rhythm after a sudden cardiac arrest. And if you don't administer that um, within a period of time, you know, you lose the patient. So for every one minute that the, uh, that the person in cardiac arrest does not have a defibrillator, uh, the chance of survival drops by 10%. Wow. So it's, it's very important to have them close by and um, available. Absolutely. And uh, Laura is sticking around with us, and uh, we are going to learn how that they are raising money uh, on the way next when Coast Life gets back.
and Coast Life where you just heard the story of Laura Ashby and her son Dave. And I know you're probably thinking now, how can you help her cause? So we are going to be joined again with Laura. Laura, can you tell us a little bit about how people can support your mission and what they can do to help? Absolutely. Uh, well, we have two events uh, this year. One is a golf outing on September 29th. It's in Magnolia, Delaware at the Jonathan Landing Golf Course. It's um, a shotgun start at 9 a.m. and then they're going to have the cart included and um, there'll be a continental breakfast and a barbecue lunch and it sounds like a really nice event. We're raising money for not only the my cause to try to purchase AEDs and distribute them throughout the beach community, mm -hmm. but also um, the name of the event is Ashby Huff because there was a young man, uh, Matt Huff, who passed away before Dave, and mm -hmm. they started this golf outing then, and mm -hmm. Dave participated in the first year, mm -hmm. and uh, the following year he passed. Wow. So, uh, so now it's Ashby Huff, but um, you can get that information on the Races to Run website, which is our other event. So on Saturday, um, September 30th at 9 a.m., there'll be a uh, 5K walk run to, um, again, raise awareness about sudden cardiac arrest and to raise money to purchase AED machines and distribute them throughout um, Dewey Beach and, and the beach community if possible. Wow, that's so, incredible. Yeah, so, so this year we're hoping to purchase an actual um, AED tower that is uh, something that would be available 24-7 in the town. So after the um, restaurants close or if the lifeguards aren't on duty, there'd be uh, this AED tower that would um, be available uh, to the public. Awesome. And, so. and explain again what the those are, what, what we're raising money for in case viewers missed it in the yeah. first Yeah, so they're, they're um, automatic external defibrillators. You can also have an internal one put in, and I've learned. Uh, if, if you can diagnose your condition. Mm. But they're, they're machines that can be used by anyone. Uh, you don't have to be a doctor or a nurse or a medical person to use them. Anyone can use them. And um, we have these laws in Delaware, uh, Good Samaritan laws, that uh, there's no risk that, uh, y that the person takes on by trying to save a life. Mm. So um, anyway, they shock the heart back into a normal rhythm, uh, and they do need to be used fairly rapidly, so it's great to have one close by. Um, uh, Steve Montgomery Monty from the Starboard in, mm -hmm. in Dewey Beach, um, he purchased one actually right before I re reached out and said I was donating, yeah. and in less than a year he saved three lives. Mm -hmm. So wow. uh, th it's really, there's a, a lot of traffic through the beach community in the summertime, yeah. as you know, and so um, millions of people. We, we uh, donated nine machines last year with the funds raised. Uh, we, we ran up against Hurricane Ian, so the actual event was canceled at the mm -hmm. last minute, but we still raised enough to purchase the nine machines, yeah. and we think that we're saving upwards of, uh, not saving, but protecting mm -hmm. upwards of 55,000 uh, hearts. Wow. So with, with the location of those those machines. Wow. So. Yeah, this is going to resonate, I think, with a lot of people. A lot of people on Del Marva are going to want to help. So, can you just tell us a little bit more about how people can help raise money? And I know you mentioned too a, a partnership that you had. Yes, thank you. Yeah, so, I I um, am partnering with Simon's Heart, who is a 5013C organization. So, all donations and sponsorships are tax deductible, mm -hmm. and they're also coming down to the race with an inflatable jukebox that um, will teach people how to do hands-only CPR at the event. Um, and um, secondly, I'm pa partnering with Races to Run, mm -hmm. and you can find this race on their site, which is the word races, the number two, and then the word run, um, and we're under beach, beach races. So um, participation can be uh, in person or virtual, mm -hmm. and um, we just want the biggest crowd possible to be able to spread the word and 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 to be able to raise the funds to um, protect the demand for for AEDs and protect the hearts. Yeah, absolutely, and Fantastic. it's an honor to help you spread that word. Definitely, I think a lot Thank of people are, are going to be excited to help. You know, Del Mar is full of people who want to give back to our community, so they're, they're going to be, I'm sure, very helpful with what you're doing. Thank you. Thank you. That would be wonderful. Right. Good. Thanks for coming in. We yes. are so sorry for your loss, mm -hmm. but thank you. Excited to help you mm -hmm. help the community protect each other mm -hmm. and uh, 
and give back. Definitely. Thank you for sharing your story and for being here. I really appreciate it. Of course. All right, hey, don't go anywhere for right now, though. More Coast Life is on the way.